Well, my friends call me Chicken Fucker. Tonight, we're on the road for an interview with Eric Gutenau, responsible for one of the most devastating disasters to the American poultry supply in over 85 years. He talks in his first interview since the incident 12 years ago. Mr. Gutenau? Yeah, yeah. I was on the phone with you uh, two weeks ago. I wanted to do an interview. Yeah, I was doing it on the porch. You know, up my bonfire, but that's all right. I appreciate the company, though, because I was by myself. What, what did your biological father call you? Shithead. Shithead. I see. Or, uh, death to us all, because I screwed up the family business. The family business? Grade A American chickens. As Eric Gutenau would later confess to the infamous congressional hearing and to his actions, all I wanted is for everyone to leave me and Gracie alone to live our own lives. Gracie, you might ask? A chicken. You want to go right down the nitty gritty, ain't you? Sure. The reason my family lost the contract to sell to one of them major manufacturing chicken companies down here. Because they found out I was doing the chickens. That's why I'm the outcast of the family. Is that right? Now, how would they possibly uh, know this? One of them son of a bitches from the factory had a camera or some shit. A hidden camera? Yeah, he caught me throwing a chicken in the truck after I took it off my lap and uh, we lost the contract. How do you respond to um, the local reverend, I believe his name is uh, Reverend uh, Mark Phelps, uh, response to you saying that you are the bane of the local community? You, you and your family. Oh, you know what? That's your mama out of church. Why? And they took, well, because of me. It, it took a long time when mama got back to church. She said that the devil took over my soul and she needed to be helped to learn how to control me. So they let her back into the church. What about you? Ain't nothing wrong with my soul. Are you allowed to go back to local? Hell, yeah, I ain't allowed without her for that damn church. I don't know why. I ain't bad. I didn't do anything bad. I ain't never done nothing that God didn't create. But they say that's the problem. I'm doing things that God created. They say that's not proper. Well, if God created it, why can't you touch it? Why can't you feel it? Why can't you enjoy it? What, what have I done wrong? But take your britches down or you just loosen up a few straps and let her hang out and bump that chicken. And just you get ready to get your nap, you know, you don't, you don't like it with a woman. You're hoping she's enjoying it too. Doesn't really matter. You're getting ready to get off. Who cares who's enjoying it? Is, uh, oh, you, get, you, you get that in there, you're getting ready to get off. You reach up, you grab hold that chicken's head, and you snap his neck. And you get that dying quiver. Oh, damn it. It's been uh, rumored that, uh, there's, uh, that your family's been inbred. What do, what do you say to those allegations? We don't play the banjo, it's wrong. Out. And you got a banjo player in the damn family. How the hell are we in bread? You know, if he comes back and finds out that you come down here and I talk to a stranger, he'll shoot me. Well, uh, speaking of which, final question. How do you like your chicken prepared? <laughs> Without toenails. What the hell? 